the biggest mistake that amateurs and even some you know people who have been playing for a while the biggest mistake is you're strumming the wrong strings let's get it All right, so this this is gonna apply for definitely beginners, but I'm gonna put, so like me, I played for about 10 years. I don't have a music background. Um, I just started learning on YouTube like 10 years ago. Um, and, and up until even a few years ago, maybe three or four years ago, so five to six years into my guitar playing, um, I really didn't know which strings I was supposed to be strumming. I just kind of assumed, well, there are six strings on the guitar, so regardless of the chord, I should just probably strum all of them, right? Or like, you know, this D chord. So I forget when it was, but I, I just kind of realized like, I shouldn't be strumming all the strings for each and every chord. Each chord is a little bit different based depending on the bass note. Um, so, I see this so much with, with young players, with newer players, with people I give lessons to. Even some of you guys on YouTube, my, some of you, like my, my subscribers, you know, I, I love like catching up with you guys and connecting with you. So I jump on your channels a lot. Those of you who post, you know, covers and stuff. And I see a lot of you, you're still struggling with that concept of not, of, of just, you're strumming all the strings when you shouldn't be strumming all the strings. And it makes a huge difference um, between sounding good and sounding like you really have no idea what in the world you're doing. So let me just show you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the, the bridge of How Great Is Our God. I'm gonna play it two ways and you you can just sit there and and, and listen and, and, and think to yourself, which sounds better? So this is the first one. You're the name above all names. You are worthy of our praise. And our hearts will see how great is our God. So that was the first one. Here's the second one. You're the name above all names. You are worthy of our praise. And our hearts will sing how great is our God. So you probably noticed the first time I played through um, there's no change on the G and the E minor because on those two chords, you're strumming, you're supposed to be strumming all of the chords or all of the strings for each chord. G, E minor. But for this C, the first time I played it, I was strumming all the strings. And this, this D chord, the first time I played it, I was strumming all the strings. And those two chords, you shouldn't be strumming all the strings. So like this C chord, you should only be strumming the bottom five. So you can either um, mute out this top E string, like maybe with your middle finger bumping up into it, or if you wanna rest your thumb up there, um, or you can just try to specifically just strum the bottom five, which is kind of hard to do if you're playing rhythm. Um, same thing with this D should not be strumming all the strings. It's a D chord, so the bass note of the D is the D string. That's the fourth string from the bottom. So that's the one we want to be strumming. We don't want to be strumming. And this doesn't just apply to chords in, in like these easy G chords. Like this applies to uh, chords in the key of C, chords in the key of D, chords in the key of E. So like for example, um, let's say we were playing in the key of C. The, uh, let's say we're, we're playing 
Waymaker. So, you are here, moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. That sounds pretty good. Um, I'm strumming the strings. I should be strumming for each chord. Now let's do it this way. I'm going to strum all of them. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. Clearly, you can tell that that last way I played it just is not good. It's it's it. You and what's frustrating is you might be you might be in the perfect formation for these chords. And you're, you're just strumming the wrong strings, which is giving it the wrong bass note. So like for this F chord, you, you just, you want to be strumming the bottom four. Or if you wanted to, you know, put your thumb up on that uh, low E string, I mean, you can do that. But just for the sake of this lesson, you know, you, you don't want to be strumming all those strings. The C chord, you don't want to be strumming the top E string, because that e, e, e string is the bass note, and that would actually be a C over E chord, which we do use in this key, in the key of C, but that's not what you want to do for your for your C. You want to mute that top, top E string out. The G, no big deal, you strum all of them. This A minor, the A is the bass note, right? So, that string, we want to strum all of them below, so the bottom five. If we don't, it sounds like this. So the, the same is with chords in the key of G. So I've got lessons for some of these um, in the key of G. I'll link it up top, um, and I'll link the it in the, the description below. In the key of G, which strings you should be strumming key of C, which strings you should be strumming, key of D, which strings you should be strumming. So don't overlook this because this is, I mean, guitar can be super frustrating, um, but like if you have the fundamentals down, it shouldn't be that frustrating. You might be getting frustrated with, oh, well, I must have my, my, my fingers in the wrong places or something because when I play this C at nine chord, it doesn't sound good. Well, your fingers might be in the perfect place, but you're just strumming the wrong strings and you're adding that e, e, uh, heavy E string in there, the chunky E string. So definitely, definitely, definitely check out some of those lessons. Um, it's, it's something that like when I was playing, I really didn't, know it was important to do um again probably until i was like five or six years into playing guitar so um yeah super 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 important super important super crucial to kind of get those foundations down if you have questions um on this or anything on this lesson or anything guitar related let me know leave a comment down below let me know what your question is um, i'd love to help you out and make you, uh, not make you, but help you become a better guitar player, a better worship player, a better worship leader. Um, so yeah, if you're new, head over to the community tab on my channel. Um, I've got some, some verses of the week, some words of encouragement, uh, some subscriber giveaways, some raffles, some other stuff over there. So pop on over there, say hello, let me know how it's going. And um, yeah, hope this tip helps you. I'm Honestly, I'm 99.999% sure it will. So uh, check it out. If you have questions, let me know. I'll catch you all in the next one.